gambling your time away? That's uh, my goodness. I should think so. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Who's been pickling in this jar? <laughs> Me, Miss Nelly. Yeah? Well, I'll have a sample. Let's see. Ah, uh, tasted worse. Oh, thanks very much, Miss Nelly. And I've tasted better. Look at that collie, eh? Just look at it. <laughs> now, I've told you about this before, haven't I? That's all stalk and no head, isn't it? <laughs> what I expect from you is a short stalk and a big head. <laughs> ah, he's all slapdash, Miss Nelly. He won't be told. You've got some room to talk. When I felt your gherkins just now, they'd gone soft. <laughs> now then, get the, uh, the box ready. That's right, Stanley. Come on now, the lot of you. I want you over here. Come on, gather round. Quick, quick, it's the bird. Sharp's the action. You're getting so much an hour. Now, as you uh, all know, the picklers of Great Britain and Lancashire are giving their exhibition of uh, pickles at Blackpool on Saturday. Now, this year, our pickles are going to be the star turn. Hey, all top picklers will be there, Miss Nelly. We are not pickling tops. <laughs> we shall win. Uh, but, but, I mean, the Blackpool exhibition, it's the Olympic Games at Pickle Trade. We can win and we shall win. Because this year, our pickle has got a special wandering ingredient. <laughs> so, therefore, I want from you this week first class pickling. And if that cat from the chippy gets in next from next door, <laughs> I'm having it doctored. <laughs> and that goes for one or two of you as well. <laughs> so I can get on with it. Now come on. Where's Mr. Eli? Oh, he, he went out, Miss Nelly. Yeah, it would be in the pub when there's some work to be done. Oh dear. Look at the time. Quarter two. Must get a little hand put on this watch. Oh, Nelly, look. Don't you Nelly love me. I'm up to my armpits in beetroot and chutney. See, I've been at it since six o'clock this morning. You see, uh, I don't know. While you've just been pleasuring yourself outside. I mean, the vinegar's been heaving again. And there's that Grenville there. Eh, yeah, see? He's just brought in three bottles of our best cucumber. I I'm only a woman. Well, we've only got your word for that. <laughs> and talking about women, if we were, got a surprise for you. Why? Are you having your mouth sewn up? <laughs> Hang about town, Nelly. Wait till you see what I've found. Come in, look. Found? Yeah, I just want pl pledges pickles of all the pickles. <laughs> Ooh, wait, I'd love to preserve that in vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't got a job, we you know. up. We'll have to get a couple of buckets. No, Nelly, you missed the point. Yeah, I'd have to be blind. Look, it's the Pickler's exhibition on Saturday at Blackpool, isn't it? Mm. We need expansion. Expansion, yes. Inflation, no. Nelly, I'd like you to meet Sabrina. Sabrina? That name sounds formidable. Isn't that the one that was on telly? You remember that one? I remember both of them. <laughs> Uh, are you a good worker? Oh, you mean I've got to work? Ah, Stan, Stan, uh, take Sabrina round the back and show your gherkins. <laughs> what does she mean, have I got to work? Is she experienced? Oh, she's very experienced. I'm going to teach her to pickle too. <laughs> I smell a great big mouse. <clears throat> that girl, she's not a real pickler, is she? Well, no, she's uh, more of a model. What for? Barrage balloons? <laughs> she's your fancy woman, isn't she? No, she's not, Nelly. Oh, yes, she is. No, she's not. Well, I'm not having any of that there in this shed. I'm telling you that. No, Neither am I. No, no, no. You either. No, Nelly, she's not my fancy woman. She's your fancy she's woman. She's all part of a plan that I've dreamed of. What are you talking about? You want to get plenty of pickles in the headlines, don't you? Yes, in the headlines, yes, but not in the Sunday papers. <laughs> she, look, it's the Pickles exhibition on Saturday, and I've entered her for the competition. Yeah. What has a stuffed olive? <laughs> you daft old lay bag. Huh? I've entered her as Miss Pickle. Yeah. Miss Pickle, she'd have to be a proper pickler like her. Like her what? Her there. 
Anyway, I've prepared to give all my free time up this week to show Sabrina the ropes. <laughs> show the ropes? Knowing you, that's not all you'll show her. <laughs> Nelly, she's a dead cert. Eh? I mean to win the competition. <laughs> oh, yes, and she's all I ask for 20 quid a week. 20 quid a week? That's more than I get. Ah, well, you get a share of the profits, don't you? Ah, yeah, well, I'm not getting my share lately. <laughs> Neither am I. Still, I will do from now on if I play my cards right. <laughs> You're doing good, you know, at Blackpool this weekend. Oh, yes, I'm right looking forward to it. It'll be a nice change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had our honeymoon in Blackpool, you know. Oh, I remember. Oh, yeah. It must have been lovely. Bit of a letdown, really. Mm -hmm. Blackpool Tower wasn't as big as I'd expected, either. <laughs> It'll be nice to have another look at it. <laughs> I'm just saying, Walter, you and Lily at Blackpool. It'll be nice to have another look at it. <laughs> yeah. That reminds me. Would you like to have a look at my pickle, Lily? Well, are you sure it's no trouble? No, but I've got it hidden. <laughs> <laughs> This is it. It's uh, Pledges Extra Power Piccadilly, a new product. You have, <laughs> you have never tasted anything like it. Well, what's different about it? What have you put in it? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's a secret between Arely and me. Oh, go on, you can tell me. No, oh, I can't. 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 All right, well, I'm your best, keeping it to yourself. Well, I, mean, I could tell you, Lily. <laughs> You won't come out with it, will he? <laughs> I'm just saying, you won't come out with it, will you? Yeah? <clears throat> well, all right then. Uh, you see, it's uh, dandelion leaves. <laughs> yes, gathered at full moon. It gives the piccalilli a special effluvia. <laughs> Lily, this, this could win us the Supreme Award. The Golden Gherkin. <laughs> and after that, who knows? We might go continental. <laughs> might even go to Brussels and try for the Golden Sprout. <laughs> well, this all sounds very exciting. Yes, well, there's only one fly in the ointment, and that's that Arnold Guttersby. Who's he when he's at all? Well, Guttersby's pickles, you know, of Burnley. Yes, he's had it in for us, you know, ever since my dad reported him during the war for putting red ink in the potatoes to make it look like beetroot. <laughs> hey, Nelly, um, this girl that uh, your real eyes got, you know, for the Miss Pickle contest, is he? No, I mean, has he? <laughs> well, he says he hasn't. <laughs> I'm septic too about it. <laughs> you know, I mean, all these girls who let the limelight go to their edge, you know. No. I was once the Rose Queen. <laughs> Time never let it spoil me. And then again, Walter's had his thrill. Harry, <laughs> right, Walter. <laughs> You've had your thrill. <laughs> you know, that time in hospital. Oh, I remember now, yeah. What was it the other patients called him there? The man who had everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was very popular in hospital, was Walter. Mm -hmm. He was voted Mr. With It. <laughs> and when he came out, he was Mr. Without It. <laughs> It's not on, you know. You promised to wine and dine me like an oriental princess. Well, what about that meal I bought you at the Chinese chippy? <laughs> that was their number four special, with chopsticks. I thought you liked that. I did. The chopsticks tasted delicious. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry about it, you know, but our nelly has been keeping an eye on us, like, see, but wait till we get to Blackpool. Ooh, I got berserk there. Ooh. <laughs> the golden mile and a plate of whelks turns me on. <laughs> Ooh, I'll show you all the romantic places. You're not getting me onto that North Pier. Hey, only the best is good enough for my little treasure chest. And what's the best you can offer? A quick touch-up in the bush shelter at Squire's Gate? <laughs> Nothing like that. I booked the hotel. The Babylon. Ooh, they've given you the room next to mine. Ooh. I've got news for you, Eli, Pledge. 
Is that really a name? He like Lynch. <laughs> I'm not going to Blackpool with you. I'm going with somebody else. How do you mean? I've had a better offer from Arnold Guttersby. I'm going to work for him and I'm going to be his entry for Miss Pickle. <laughs> but Sabrina... You and me are finished. Finished? We never even bloody started. <laughs> That's the last time you get me on a shadow with Walter. Twelve times he stopped that bus. <laughs> well, he couldn't tell. Pity he had to go. Not on the fast lane of the M6. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are, Lily. We thought you'd got lost. No such bloody luck. Shut up, you big girl's blouse. What happened? Oh, well, it was Walter. That revolving door at Bike Lobby caught hold of him. All right. Where did he catch hold of him? She just told you by the lobby. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Ah, there you are, Squire. I can do with a drink. Certainly, sir. Shall I get a porter to take the bags upstairs? No, no, they'll have a drink and all. <laughs> what are you having, Lily? Oh, I'll not have a drink, Eli. I shouldn't think so. I want to get Walter upstairs. Yes. No, 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 not a drink you need, you know. It's a bloody miracle. <laughs> Will you shut up, you? Yes, you better get him upstairs. You're quite right, Lily. He'll want to be getting on the bed for a bit. Yeah. I'm just saying, Walter, you'll want to get on the bed for a bit. <laughs> you must be tired. Ah, now, I'll have a pint of beer. Uh, Nelly, what will you have? Oh, uh, have you got uh, a uh, glass of uh, a sherry wine? Why, certainly, madam. A Montelado. No, thank you. I don't smoke. <laughs> Wait, I'm asking you if you want your sherry dry. Of course I don't want it dry. I want it wet, don't I, when I want to drink? <laughs> Ooh, I like this place. <laughs> Ooh, I like these uh, candle braziers. <laughs> hey, what are, you, what are you doing? What? What about me? Oh, yeah, I've read it. You want some? Here. Yeah. I think so. That's better. <laughs> That'll be 90 pence, sir. <laughs> 90 pence? 90 pence? I mean, what, for a, a cherry wine and a pint of beer? But it's the S-E-T, madam. S-E-T, my B-T-M. <laughs> if I buy another drink here, I'll have to ring up the Billy Society and get a bloody mortgage. If you buy a drink, we'll be bankrupted. It's a good thing that our pickles are going to win first prize. Here you are, 90 pence. Oh, thank you, sir. Service charge is not included. But well, do you want a tip? Well, it is customary, sir. How about her for the 3.30? <laughs> sure. Here we are, then. Oh, you've got the exhibits, then, have you, Stan? Every one, Miss Nelly. Yes. Well, we've got to keep our eye on those, you know. I mean, until we hand them over. <clears throat> I mean, where do you think we should put them? We want a safe place. How about Walter's bed? Well, I mean, nothing's ever happened to Lily, has it? <laughs> a few jars of pickles should be safe. Don't talk daft. Supposing some unscrupulous pickler should get his hands on... Hey, up. Oh, no, that is me. Hello, hello, hello. What side was you up, then? Take no notice. Inhale him. Can't understand why... <laughs> Can't understand why you bothered coming, really. You stand no chance with them mucky pickles of yours. <laughs> what are you talking about? Everybody knows that you blow up your gherkins with a bicycle pump. They tell me you've developed a new type of piccolilli. What's, uh, what's so special about it? Well, so you'll know what's so special about it when we win first prize. <laughs> it's made from a top secret formula. Oh, aye, a top secret formula. And what's the secret about dandelions? <laughs> I'll see your pickles off, Pledgy. Come on, Sabrina. Ta-da! Stand no jump. 
flaming Arnold Guttersby. How did he know about those dandelions? Who told him? Stanley, come here. Have you been talking in the pub? No, not me, Miss Nelly. He like the pub. No, I, I didn't talk in the pub, Nelly. You great festering whitlow, you. <laughs> I'll kill you. Think with that, that Sabrina, you know, she like wormed it out of me. You dozy crate egg. You're not fit to shovel up sherbet in a <laughs> in a K-Life factory. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Nelly. I thought that I could trust that Sabrina, you know. That flaming Arnold got to spare. As soon as she told him, I bet he went out picking dandelions. You know, they'll do wonders for his pickle lily. He wouldn't have to go out and pick, pick them, Nelly. What do you mean? I, I gave Sabrina that big dart of dandelion juice that was in our pickle shed behind the beetroot sacks. Don't hit me. <laughs> You big fleas armpit. <laughs> we might as well have stopped at home. Hey, Eli. Did you see that big jar behind beetroot bags? Yes. That big jar with big screw top? Oh, shut up. It's too late now. No, only that wasn't dandelion juice. Wasn't it? No. What, what the hell was it? It was the horses. <laughs> the horses what? You know, I put it in that jar before I took it to the vet. You mean the horses? Uh... And I gave it to Sabrina. And she gave it to Arnold Guttersby. To put it in his pickle lily. Hey! Here we go, gathering nutsy-bay, nutsy-bay, nutsy-bay. Here we go, gathering nutsy-bay, cold and frosty morning. Peace, 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 peace. Now, this is the kind of behaviour that gives Britain's picklers a bad name. Who the hell are you? My name is Perkins, of Perkins Gherkins. Oh. <laughs> and I'm the conference secretary. Oh, yes, well, uh, how do you do? You haven't had the pleasure of me yet, have you? <laughs> I'm Miss Nelly Pledge, of Pledge's Pure Pickles. And this here here is my brother of the same name. Ah, yes, Mr Pledge. Now, I have you down as having a contestant for the Pickle Queen. Ah, well, there's uh, <coughs> been a bit of a snag, you see. I trust your candidate will appear. There's a £50 forfeit if she doesn't. We can't have people wasting the judge's time now, can we? We can't afford £50. The rules are quite clear. A £50 forfeit must be paid if your candidate does not come up to scratch. Well, Mr Pledge, do you have a candidate? Uh, yes, of course. Hey, he had me worried for a minute. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and what is your candidate's name? Nelly Pledge. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> and now representing Gutters Bays are Burnley, Miss Sabrina Clay. Come on, Come on. Get them off. Get them off. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now finally, representing Pledge's Pickles from Cone, Miss Nelly Clay. Yeah. I'm very touched. It's not you that's touched, it's him. We'll be touched in a minute with this. Peace, 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 ma'am. Peace, peace. Sorry. <laughs> and now, now, ladies and gentlemen, you have seen the four lovely contestants competing for the title of Miss Pickle, our pickle industry's very own leading lady. Get on with it, you'll have it down. Order, please, order. <clears throat> These four lovely ladies competing for the title and the EPNS Cup, kindly donated by Mr. Guttersby. Sit down, big head. Oh, sure. oh, get on. But the judges are not looking for personality, poise and charm alone. I don't know, you're in with a chance. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, will you? Please. I mean, shut up. <laughs> the judges also require each contestant to offer a slogan, which will boost the pickle trade in this great country of ours. Come on, Sabrina, look, give us a slogan. Right, excuse me. And the slogan is... Our Lily loves her pickle-lily. Brilliant! 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 Brilli
You don't know what my slogan is, do you? <laughs> no, no, I don't. Um, very well, then, everyone, we will now have Miss Pledge's slogan. <laughs> What's the matter, Pledge? Has the cat from the chippy got your tongue? <laughs> <laughs> I'll forget I'm a perfect lady and give you a pug in the lung. Oh, the pickle queen. It's ridiculous. She's wearing a bloody bra. My bra? <laughs> it's not all my own, I'll tell you that. They're false. False nothing. Oh, shove a gherkin up your jerkin. Pick <laughs> your pug. I, I didn't mean you, love. I just said to him, shove a gherkin up your jerkin. <laughs> That's the slogan we want. <laughs> Oh, yes, 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 the judges are unanimous. Miss Nelly Pledge is declared Pickle Queen of Great Britain and Lancashire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I crown the Queen Nelly. Oh. <laughs> it's a fiddle, you're not fit to be a Pickle Queen, you're too common. I'm not common. Shut your gob. <laughs> hey, well, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say that to him, you know. You know what first prize is, don't you? No, what? A night out with him. <laughs> I'm nearly sorry I won. And now, fellow picklers, it only remains to announce the Golden Gherkin Award for the finest pickle product at this year's show. And it is in the Piccalilly section. That's our Piccalilly effluvia. <laughs> the Golden Gherkin Award for this superb Piccalilly goes to its creators. Only crown while I go up and get it. <laughs> Guttersby's of Burnley. Come out, <laughs> Well, I'll go to out. I think I'll come with you. <laughs> oh, oh right, that flaming arm of Guttersby. I mean, this, that flaming horse and all. Ah, well, we can say that again. And he's got the golden gherkin. Ah, but never mind, Nelly. We've still got the horse, love. <laughs> Let's cut off his supplies. How do you mean? Let's go home and put a big padlock on that stable door. Come on, look. <laughs> Pickling in this jar. <laughs> Me, Miss Nelly. Yeah? Well, I'll have a sample. Let's see. Ah, tasted worse. Oh, thanks very much, Miss Nelly. And I've tasted better. Look at that collie, eh? Just look at it. <laughs> now, I've told you about this before, haven't I? That's all stalk and no head, isn't it? <laughs> what I expect from you is a short stalk. And a big head. <laughs> ah, he's all slept. 
dash, Miss Nelly. He won't be told. You've got some room to talk. When I felt your gherkins just now, they'd gone soft. <laughs> How then? Get the, uh, the box ready. That's right, Stanley. Come on now, the lot of you. I want you over here. Come on, gather round. Quick, quick, it's the word. Sharp the action. You're getting so much an hour. Now, as you uh, all know, the picklers of Great Britain and Lancashire are giving their exhibition of uh, pickles at Blackpool on Saturday. Now, this year, our pickles are going to be the star turn. Hey, all top picklers will be there, Miss Nelly. We are not pickling tops. <laughs> we shall win. Uh, but, but, I mean, the Blackpool exhibition, it's the Olympic Games at Pickle Trade. We can win and we shall win. Because this year, our 